everyone that was at, at the the Lucky concert in Toronto yesterday. Yeah. So I went right, and I'm already used to like all the the pushing and shoving because I went to the Ken Carson one. Yeah, right? you know what a mosh is like. Exactly, exactly. So at the beginning, you know how everyone's chill mm-hmm. until the DJ finally gets on stage, and then everyone wants to start like pushing to the front. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So me, Julian, Marshall, and Matthew. <laughs> right. So we're all getting pushed around like. It's going this way. It's going this way. It's going mm-hmm. this way. So all you hear is a silence, right? So, so you see this big. Uh, Matthew's like six foot five. Yeah, he's so, fucking tall, yeah, bro. So he's you, big. You see him, right? So we're getting pushed around, and no, it's it's not stopping, right? Mm-hmm. Marshall randomly shouts out. Yo, man, I'm sick and tired of this, bro. Matt, pull out your gun. <laughs> Yo! And, 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 and everyone looks at Matt. Because <laughs> this guy looks like a security guard, too, bro. Fam, he has tattoos. Tattoos everywhere. Everyone just stops and looks, right? <laughs> and I think it was, I think it was, um... Like two seconds after, I, I I like to do this if I'm if I'm trapped because if I'm squished, oh like, you can't breathe. My body's like thing, so I'm, yeah. I'm doing this and I'm like giving the guy in front of me a massage, right? Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. getting pushed on him, right? So I keep doing that and everyone keeps pushing me. I move to the right at the perfect time, because right after this happens, another guy came. Uh, slamming down on the guy, oh. he turns around. A fight breaks out. Oh so, so shit! Everyone's like, this, uh, everyone's like, "Yo, what the fuck?" It was like the guy turns around. Yo, someone keeps touching me, bro. And that was like, <laughs> <laughs> Fam, I'm on the right. Like, yo, what's him? <laughs> Bro, yo, there was too much shit going on, bro. Yo, you almost got in a fight yourself, I, man. I'm telling you, it was perfect timing because I was dead ass massaging him. I moved a bit, the guy f- rammed into him. Damn, yeah. what the fuck? So that guy getting massaged, he just didn't like it no more. He just didn't like. He like he got fed up. <laughs> it was perfect. Literally, when I tell you Drake, perfect timing. <laughs> Oh no! Nav, 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 perfect timing. <laughs> nav, perfect timing. It was perfect timing. Bro. That's why you're a lucky guy, fam. Yeah, I know. Honestly, there's some, there's some moments in life where I see. Th- oh, yeah. remember when you went? I think it was Kuda's birthday. Which one? So we went to his birthday. And we ate at uh, the pub. Remember? Oh, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. This was crazy. So <laughs> after we ate, we're headed out. Uh-huh. Everybody's in the cars. I was gonna go back to your car because you drove me. I think. Yeah, yeah. And then Kuda was gonna drive by himself. Yeah. And. Everybody's like, yo, why don't you just ride with Kuda? He's, he's not riding with anyone. I'm mm. like, oh, okay, sure. I'll ride with him. But I was going to sit in your car. I, was, yeah. I think I was already sitting in your me, car. It was me, you, Brandon. Yeah, I was already sitting in your car. Yeah. But I decided to go his car. So we're on the highway. Bro. Oh, yeah. This truck, it was literally like fast and furious. Yeah. We're on this lane, driving on the highway. Mm. This truck, side swipes, no signal, no nothing. <laughs> Zzz, big truck. I'm not talking like a... Like a four, I'm talking like a, a big rig. Yeah. And we were headed there. I told him, yo, slow down, slow down, slow down. Mm-hmm. Boom. Side swipes right in front of us. And if we were a little bit faster, we would got hit. I know. So imagine, imagine, oh my God. No, so but certain like, things like, what if that was like a blessing? This guy, like I was supposed to be in his car. Imagine if I wasn't in his car to tell him to slow down. What if he was driving faster? Yeah. Certain things like that, bro. Yeah, because I don't know what, what it is about BMW drivers and how they love just BMW like... Driver. Yo, they love just like... <laughs> speeding. Speeding. And, and it's a thing where it's like, oh, say there's two cars like this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're behind this one. Mm-hmm. They'll take this gap for no reason. They'll go like this and go like this. Fam, you're not getting to your destination any quicker. Yeah, you just I know. Love, love no, you know what cheese me the most, bro? What, bro? Airports, airports. What so about? when you go on the airplane, yeah. right, and then you land, uh-huh. everybody stands up like this. Why is everybody standing up right away? We're not getting off the plane until everybody in front of us goes. Oh, that one pisses me off the most because it's like y'all are trying to give your your anxious energy to me. Yeah, and then I'm sitting here, I'm waiting my turn. Facts. Everybody's like. Gotta get out of here. My They're all goodness. standing, and then they end up standing for like forty minutes. I know, yeah. Jesus exactly. me, bro. <laughs> Airport, airports in general give me uh, bare anxiety because uh, the security guard who's who's uh, yelling at you while you're trying to take all your shit off. Yeah. Like, Hurry up! I don't got time for that. You got shoes? Take them off. Like, mm. like, yo, that is the I get rushed like crazy. Did you know? Um, you know that that scanner at yeah. at the TSA, yeah, whatever it is, right? The airport security. Mm-hmm. Did you know you can actually. Um, say you don't want to go through it, and they'll allow you. You can say opt out of the 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 security check. Yeah, the security scan, the no security way. scan, and check this out, right? Yeah. So there's a regular one that they use at concerts and kind of like uh stadiums and everything. It's just a regular like metal detector you walk yeah, through. Yeah. But there's another one, the 360 scan that goes. Zzz, 
mm. right? Yeah. Now, I was watching an episode of Atlanta with Childish Gambino, oh, okay. Lakey Stanfield. And in one episode, he's like, they're at the airport. He said, yo, wait up. Opt out. And he just walked through. And then TSA wasn't able to, to scan him with the machine. <laughs> and he, he was saying, the reason I opt out yeah. is because that shit changes your body chemistry forever. It oh, alters oh. your DNA forever. Don't say, don't say that because because no, because it's radi- it's radioactive. It's radiation. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But don't say that because I always I always get randomly checked. Like I'm what? the person that always gets randomly checked. For real? When I went to Mexico for S trip. Yeah. When I went there, uh, random check him. Really? I had to go into the big scanner. What? You can say opt out. So next time. Okay, opt out. Next time. Opt out. <laughs> <laughs> That's bullshit. No, it's true. How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet? I'll, it's true. I'll bet, I'll bet you that. Why? When Check I go out. to Jamaica, I'll, I'll be like, opt out. Yeah, you can. Fam, why would they? If everyone knew that, they would all opt out though. Nobody knows that is what I'm saying. So, so you have a... You can opt out going the scanner or the random check. No, 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 the scanner. But if you opt out, right? Yeah. If you opt out, they're allowed to like check you a little oh, bit harder. Just check you. Okay. They're allowed okay. to check you a little bit hard. They still check you. Yeah. But the scanner itself, you can opt out of it because there's radiation, whatever, <laughs> and then you can say, "I don't feel comfortable." Blah blah. Yeah, blah. yeah. That I yeah, that's true. That makes it more sus, though. I feel like because that. <laughs> Why is it more I, sus? I randomly, just a kid randomly. Sc- Opt out. Let no, me, let me like, like, you might think I have like some shit on me. Like, okay, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah, like, like, <laughs> no, if, if I was a TSA work and there's a kid that opted, I'm like, how yeah, did you know about that? Exactly. <laughs> like, I would be reading into the rules because I'm trying to transport it out the country. That's actually kind of true, bro. You're that's actually kind of true. Because <laughs> I would be a little bit more suspicious. Like, are you carrying something on you? Yeah, yeah. But listen, listen. <laughs> okay, okay. What? You know how we got into the like the Raptors game? Uh, yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know. You're not allowed to like bring snacks in because you wanted to bring a box of food. Up. <laughs> <laughs> I swear you're allowed. I swear you're allowed. <laughs> but but Andre, he was gonna bring in like uh, candy. Yeah. And then the guy said, um, no, no, you you can't bring it in. Yo, just put it in your pocket. No, you can't bring it. No, just put it in your pocket. <laughs> That's what you're saying. You're oh, saying ass? that like if you put it in your pocket. Nobody's gonna know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he was he was saying like louder, like, no, you can't bring that in. Yeah. In pocket. <laughs> no, I mean that makes sense because it's like it's not gonna harm no one. Yeah, yeah. So like candy like, yeah. and shit. <laughs> but but specifically those um those radioactive things, right? Yeah. I think there's definitely more shit in the world that mm. we don't know the true rules of. How many oh, how boy. many times have you really like broken down rules of things you can't do? <sighs> not often, right? Never, because it's whatever I'm given, I know. Mm-hmm. You know? Even, even like, um, if, if we go and, and we get arrested for something, a lot of us don't even know the laws, like what's our, what's our rights and freedoms and yeah, shit. Did, didn't you tell me, um, there's no such thing as, um, oh, what do you call this? Self-defense? Oh no, can we say that? Yeah, there's nothing. Yeah. In Canada, at least. In Canada, yeah, at least. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of things that we don't have and a lot of things that we do have, but that's one of the most important things is to know like our actual freedoms, our actual rights and shit. Because yeah. the people that don't know them, would you say, are actually less free just because they they're not aware, mm-hmm. just because they're not educated on it. Yeah, and I love and I love those videos of guys who know the law, mm-hmm. and and they're going through the board and the, uh, the police is trying to give them a hard time, but they're trying to read it off, read it off. Yeah, and it's and and it's until they know the police officer knows they're knowledgeable, then mm-hmm. they'll kind of back off, which makes me so like happy, yeah, like satisfied. So there's this movie I watched like a long long time ago. Okay. This is a crazy <laughs> movie, fam. So listen, listen. So it's called The Exam. Have you ever heard about this? Nah, never. Exam. So it's kind of um, it's one of those squid gamey type of movies okay. where not a death game necessarily, yeah. but it's a test of the population, a test of regular people to see what they would do. Okay. Now, what it was, it was a bunch of people that they were they were invited to this interview kind of test, mm. and when they walked in, they're all faced against the same job okay so they all wanted the same one position to work for this big company right Mm -hmm. so they walk in it's just like a classroom windows i think they're they're actually like double double mirror windows so they can't see through it okay there's one man in there and every single desk has a piece of paper and it has a number on it now each test on there is designated to somebody in that room they all sit down yeah now the guy he says okay You're allowed to start. And he walks away. Now, they look at the test. They turn it over. And there's nothing on the paper. Okay. Literally nothing at all. Okay. Why did you fuck up? Now, how do you think, if you were in that position, how do you think you would win the job? And how do you think you would actually get the job? That was just a blank piece of paper 
and all of your other people, all of your other opponents are just in the same position. Is it like a, a work smarter but not harder situation? Or is it like, oh, I escaped this rat race because I'm not trying to do this exam. Like, I work for myself type shit. Okay, I'm going to tell you what they did. Okay. So, they started doing some random shit. They started like, oh, there's one thing they couldn't do. They couldn't um ruin their paper. So, oh, that was one of the rules. One okay. of the rules was if you if you damage your paper yeah. or any of your papers get damaged, you're disqualified. Okay. And then you can't you can't join and you can't be eligible for the job, right? Yeah, yeah. So people were thinking, okay, that's one of the only rules. So if I make everybody else damage their own paper, that means they're disqualified. And by default, who would be the winner, right? Whoa. So now it became like a, a really thinky movie yeah. because everybody's trying to think, okay, what else is available here? Now, mm. bro, they tried lighting shit on fire. They tried looking around the whole room because there was no rules that they can't stand up. There's no rules that they can't com converse with each other. And the craziest part of the movie, this made you think because it's not what they say you can't do, right? Mm -hmm. It's what they don't say you can't do. Is allowed. Is allowed. So you're given the rules, but yeah. everything besides the rules, you're allowed. So what was this like test on? It it was an experiment, fam. I don't so want to spoil it. it. I don't want to spoil blank it. Paper? It was literally just a blank paper. Oh, okay. So he just left. So he just left, and then they're assessing like who would be the winner and who would be the person to get out. Yeah. So it doesn't work smarter because if you if it's the the rules is don't damage the paper, you literally just leave it there. And I, I me personally, I would just sit there. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't leave. I would just sit there and smile. <laughs> and just confuse everyone just be like just look around yeah yeah i don't want to spoil it what happens but like it gets it gets crazy because a lot of people they have their own like theories onto it what are we supposed to do with this paper blah 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 yeah but it's literally just i think to myself okay if i have a blank piece of paper yeah. and you say this is this this from the rules or from whatever official tells me uh -huh. i'm just gonna follow what they tell me rather than think for myself right yeah. and that's our initial agreement that is now true. If you take that mindset and then bring it to the world, mm. that's literally what the war, what the what reality is. That's what the world is like. Yeah, like you're set all these rules, but besides the rules, the things outside of the box, you can do everything. Yeah, me personally, if if I, I just sat here there with a blank piece of paper, mm -hmm. no, no one told me anything. I would make an origami first, first like no, but you reflex. You defamed your. I know, yeah, yeah that's but that's first saying. reflex. That's so your I, reflex. I, I, yeah, yeah if, if there's a blank piece of paper, I would probably make a paper airplane. Just fucking shoot that shit out. Mm. You know what would you do? What I would this do? This Loki reminds me of the Shonen, uh, the Naru, uh, Naruto, Naruto, the, uh, the Chunin exam, exam. the yeah, Chunin exam, the Chunin exam, yeah, kinda. The Chunin like, exam oh, was a real allowed, test, yeah, though. Yeah, you're not allowed to cheat, but he but it was like, meant to to, to make people cheat. cheat. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's kind of like that. It's kind of like that. Mm. But I think what it really was, it was a test, not even just to see who would be the winner, mm. but a test to see what the population would do or just regular people would do. Damn, like put people in a situation of like life and death or yeah. extreme um stress and see how they perform Damn. right yeah there was also this um this movie it's kind of similar okay. i think it was in the recommended when i watched the exam it's called the belco experiment what's that never heard about that uh, did we talk about this i don't think so okay you might have heard about it though i think i heard about it so it's pretty much this office building mm -hmm. and all of these people they're hired to work there. It's in the middle of nowhere, right? What the fuck? They were working there for a couple weeks. And then all of a sudden, there's an alarm that goes off. Yeah. And pretty much the alarm goes off and an announcer says, okay, everybody in this building is trapped. Now, you all have to kill each other. There's only going to be one survivor yeah. that gets to walk away. What the fuck? So everybody in the building goes crazy. Everybody starts killing each other. Everybody starts snaking each other. Mm -hmm. Everybody starts hiding, running, whatever. Yeah. And all hell breaks loose. Yeah. But the real thing was, imagine, oh, I think the rule was like, if anybody is still alive, if there's more than one person alive at this certain time, mm -hmm. that means everybody dies. Oh, no. This where did you say this was? This was the Belco experiment. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was like a. They just put the office building somewhere in Mexico, like a yeah. random desert. Yeah, there, there's some weird stuff going on because I know you talked about CERN before. Mm -hmm. There's some weird stuff going around in the CERN like building area. So yeah. it's like um you know um the first thing I I noticed because I didn't notice this at first their logo you can see so it's CERN with a bunch of lines around it but mm -hmm. you can see it's a bunch of sixes. Oh shit! Yeah, you didn't notice that. It? Yeah, go, go search up Let me CERN check that logo. Out. Yeah, the CERN logo. Yeah, it, there's a bunch of sixes around it. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. 
Yo, that's literally six. <gasps> yeah. So and I, I, so I researched more. Yeah. Outside their um their little facility, mm -hmm. they have this statue, right? Yeah. And it's called Shiva. You can look it up. Oh, that's from Hindu. Hinduism. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. It's called Shiva, and this thing is literally uh resembles destruction of the world yeah that, that's, that's the means. god of like destroyers right yeah and now there's uh there's like pictures going online uh on reddit that right um beside the statue of shiva mm -hmm. the workers dress up in black coats have little torches with fire oh, and are dancing around the this fuck? is outside their facility and what are they a, doing? I don't know. It's a ritual. It's a ritual. Yeah. And there's also a video on YouTube where you can see all the CERN dance right before, right beside the little um, collider. Mm -hmm. Right beside it, they're doing a, they're dancing around it. But it's like they can't control their body. They're dancing in such a weird what way. The fuck? It's like uh, what do you call this? Unconscious. Like a trance? Like yeah, a trance? Yeah. Unconscious. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit! And they're doing it right beside the collider. So it's like, oh, what, what are they? Is this whole thing like, oh yeah, they're trying to do something with dimensions, dimensions. Or whatever. so for the people that don't know the cern the cern company yeah or i guess organization mm -hmm. they pretty much made this collider super high tech um yeah. quantum physics collider mm -hmm. that's able to quote unquote open up portals or it's fucked. observe molecules on a crazy level this is this is like dr strange type shit I this know. is like avengers ant-man level quantum mania type shit yeah and the theory is that them messing with those particles in that way mm -hmm. create a ripple effect or create problems in our universe yeah. in our timeline and it transcends into different alternate dimensions yeah. and it fucks us all up and and, it's and that's crazy. why like uh my bad that's yeah. why like mandela effects pop up yeah exactly i have a few mandela effects but i, I want to say too that i feel like a lot of people on reddit are saying that if we mess with so much, so much of these dimensions, mm -hmm. that we'll, we'll bring up, they'll bring up the wrong one. And you know how those rituals with fire? Yeah, they're saying that their all their whole agenda is to bring up hell that's to fuck. earth. You that's fucked. That's fucked. That's fucked. Yeah. Because if you think about it, Gavin, like imagine, imagine all of these different dimensions, right? Mm -hmm. There's a dimension where somebody's in charge. There's a dimension where somebody, because it's kind of like manifestation, where you can put yourself into the universe where you achieve right. something amazing. Now, what if these like elitists or these Fair. people that know this stuff, mm -hmm. they try to bring up a reality where yeah. they're in charge of the whole world. You yeah. Think that, no, like on some super villain shit. Yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's cause it's cause it's like, um, Oh fuck. Because if we can do that with our mind, you think, you think that big ass collider that, has that advanced technology can do that? Yes. Yeah, probably. Yeah, exactly. 100%. Like, there's some shit that we don't know. Exactly, true. Exactly. Right? <laughs> Did you know that um, Ellen the Generous mm -hmm. is supposed to be related to all the Rothschilds? No. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. So there's a big theory going on right now because you know how um Ellen was like the sweetheart. Yeah, yeah. Like, everyone loved her. She mm -hmm. was like our favorite host, right? Mm -hmm. But recently, she's been getting like um. She was canceled. Yeah, she was canceled because. Yeah. Every time she she had like a engagement with a fan, mm -hmm. she was mean to staff. Like it was all bad reviews, yeah. right? So that the whole theory that every one of the, every one of like uh, the elites are related to each other. So I'm gonna read you mm -hmm. Ellen's family tree, and you're gonna be like, "What the no fuck?" No way, happened? she's actually related to that. Watch, listen. So her distant relative is Jane Seymour, mm -hmm. so who became the third wife of Henry V, I think, the day after Anne Boylan was beheaded. Wait, wait, the king? King yeah, Henry? Yeah, the king Henry. Oh, shit. And listen, this is also in, in Ellen's family tree. Yeah. Amelia Earhart. No way. Her eighth cousin. What the fuck? And she's also cousins of... Oh, that's um, <laughs> that's that's the Duchess of the, Prince William's... Pr Prince William's wife? Yeah. Yeah, Prince William's wife. So she's she's related to all these people in her Prin family tree. It's uh, Princess Kate, I think. Yeah, yeah. That's her name, right? And, and people dug even deeper where they found her name, uh, grandson of the Rothschild. Damn. Grandson. Yo, I mean, like, she's she's in a big position before. She is. But why did she get... Yo, I seen some shit, too. Yeah. Like, I don't want to... Allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> but um, there were some TikToks going around okay. where they were showing Ellen during COVID... And people were saying like during COVID, um, celebrities or these people, the the adrenochrome people uh, that were reliant on the yeah. blood of blah blah blah, yeah, weren't yeah. getting their fill. And a lot of them were like, Fuck. like they're going through it, right? Yeah. And Ellen, there was some footage of her. There's some footage of like Tom Hanks going through it. Mm. There's some footage of like other celebrities. I forgot exactly who, but they're like 
it looked almost as if they didn't have their fill of something. Oh yeah, they were like, like fiending. For yeah, something. they're fiending for something. But also, it's cor- allegedly. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's also quarantine, so you never know. There's a lot of know. shit going around ce- with celebrities. I don't know if you heard the story that Ariana Grande was actually tormented by demons. Ariana Grande. Yeah, and this is a crazy story because. Uh, in 2014, yeah, she went to this cemetery, right? It's called Stull Cemetery, mm-hmm. right? And she went there in 2014. Yeah. And this cemetery is so haunted that the Pope himself mm-hmm. won't even fly over it. Oh, like, shit. Like, he'll tell his pilot to go to go around it, Fuck. right? So while she was there, she already said, she, she said this on a complex interview. Yeah. She was like, when I got there, I was oh, I've had this sick, overwhelming feeling. Mm-hmm. And it smelled like sulfur. Oh, is that like the smell of... When you smell sulfur, that means a D, the D word yeah. is present, right? Yo. So right away, so right away, she said, so as soon as she got that feeling, yeah, yeah. she said, oh, I, I'm, I did an apology. But right before she left, she took a picture of the cemetery. Mm-hmm. And in that picture, she sees distinct figures no. three, of three faces of text, she have, is it? of textbook demons. Yo, what the fuck? Bro, I'm telling you, it's So fucked. she came out and said all of this stuff yeah, too? Yeah, to Complex. This is all in an interview. What the fuck? You see that face, no? Yo. You see that face? Let me face? see. Yeah, go. That looks like a person. Yeah, like peeking out. What the fuck? It's fucked. So now the next two days, this yeah. is what happened to her. She heard whispers in her in her like head. Oh shit! They got to her, and there was lots of signs going on. So when she was sending files to yeah. on Gmail, it said, I "Can't send this file. It's six 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 megabytes." No, a bunch of it. So I, I think it was like a week after it kept going. Yeah, when she was sleeping, right beside her, she saw a dark matter. What do you mean by that? Standing there, you know when you get sleep paralysis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She saw it right there, and she saw it move. To the front of her, mm-hmm. right? And this is, fam, this is going on like every single day. And this is how it all ties out. She has a song called Break Free. Oh, and that was that was yep. because of that? Yeah, and in, in the song, she says a line where it says, I was under your spell, like a deadly feeling. Yo. And throughout, fam, you can see throughout the, the music video, mm. there's a sign of like a devil stamp. On her, like on the mark her. of the beast. She takes it. Throws it on the ground, stomps on it like she broke yeah, free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that was the whole meaning of that song. If you guys didn't know, that's cr- I never heard about this, bro. Yeah, it that's was fun. Fuck. How wait, how long ago was this? This isn't uh, recent, though, right? I don't think it's recent. I think this isn't like, I don't know. Just search up when the break free was uh, music video. That, that might have been like 2017 ish, right? Yeah, Something yeah. like that. But Damn. She's, yeah, she's good now. She's out of it. All right. So since the holidays are just around the corner, looking for a gift that your parents or your in-laws might genuinely love might be a very hard task. So if you want to give something meaningful, since maybe you guys don't see them as often, Skylight Frames is the perfect gift. So my parents love this frame. We all email photos all the time. And my parents just sit around and watch the frame for hours. It's a simple joy that anyone can experience. So Skylight Frame is a photo frame you can update instantly by email from anywhere. A great way to feel close to those you love even when you guys are separated. So it sets up effortless in under 60 seconds just plug it in use a touch screen to connect your wireless network and enjoy so sending photos to skylight is also effortless everyone in the family can use the app or just email them to skylight and then they'll pop up in seconds and multiple people can send photos to the frame so it's a great way to keep large network of friends and families in touch it has a black frame and white mat so it looks like real photo frame and adds a beautiful touch to your home so you guys can choose from two size options either the original 10 inch or the new large 15 inch frame so there's a hundred percent satisfaction guaranteed if you don't your skylight they'll offer you a full refund you guys can preload it with photos of special memories for the perfect personalized gift and put pictures of you and your significant other spouse or grandparents and trust me guys it's so simple to set up that my non-tech savvy mom and dad could set it up and enjoy it so now as a special offer you guys can get 15 off your purchase of skylight frame when you go to skylightframe.com and enter the code jump so to get 15 dollars off your purchase of a skylight frame just go to skylightframe.com and enter the code jump that's s-k-y-l-i-g-h T-F-R-A-M-E dot com promo code jump. So it's never too late to play holiday music and it's never too early to start thinking about gifts. So whether it's for a friend or the friend in your pants, you can make this a season to be jolly with Manscaped. So Santa cares about his sack and so should you and look nice when you get naughty and get free shipping and 25% off by going to manscaped.com slash jumpers. So personally, Manscaped has helped my grooming routine. 
I have full confidence that the Lawnmower 4.0 can reduce nicks and cuts while I shave. Plus, they've added in products like shampoos, deodorants to make my body feel good and fresh every day. So the Manscaped Platinum Package 4.0 is the one-stop shop for the man who deserves it all. It has everything needed to help you deck the halls from face to balls just in time for the mistletoe season. So the Platinum Package has each product from the best-selling performance package, plus Ultra Premium Body Wash, Ultra Premium 2-in-1 Shampoo plus Conditioner, and Ultra Premium Deodorant. Plus the Lawnmower more 4.0 body trimmer and the weed whacker nose and ear hair trimmer feature they feature proprietary advanced skin safe technology to protect your delicate presence plus both are waterproof so there's no issue clearing the snow out of your driveway plus the platinum package comes with shower products so all of manscaped shower gear is sulfate free vegan and made to have your skin feeling hydrated and smelling fresh but smelling good doesn't stop at the shower the crop preserver ball deodorant and crop reviver ball toner can also solve the stank problems all day long once they touch your sack you guys will never go back the platinum package 4.0 sitting under the tree is guaranteed to put anyone in the holiday spirit and for the perfect stocking stuffer add in the brand new body buffer and an incredible body scrubber that makes exfoliating easy and a lot cleaner than that old loofah so get 20 percent off and free shipping at manscaped.com slash jumpers that's 20 percent off with free shipping at manscaped.com slash jumpers manscaped get your jingle balls ready for the holidays all right so guys it's all about confidence when it comes to sex am i right and what's a better confidence booster than a fun round with your partner all courtesy of the chewables from bluechew.com so what's bluechew.com bluechew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as viagra and cialis but in chewable form at a fraction of the cost and now they have verdenafil mint flavored chewables with an active ingredient in levitra and staxin so you guys can stay hard and fresh so bluechew's tablets help men achieve harder and stronger erections to combat all forms of ed and bluechew is an online prescription service so no more visits to the doctor's office no awkward conversations and no waiting in line at the pharmacy and it ships right to your door in a discreet package so the process is simple you go to bluechew.com you sign up consult with one of their licensed medical providers and once you're approved you'll receive a prescription within days so the best part it's all done online and for those of you who don't like swallowing pills no problem bluetooth sildenafil and teletophil tablets are now chewable so if you guys can benefit from an extra confidence when it comes time to perform visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information and don't forget the special deal for our listeners Try Blue Chew free when you use our code JUMPERS, J U M P E R S, at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. So that's bluechew.com, promo code JUMPERS to receive that first month free. That's crazy. Because yeah. I know a lot of celebrities, like, they're, they get caught in that type of shit. Yeah. Holy fuck. Okay, there's, there's a conspiracy I do want to talk about, though. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever heard about the Marilyn Monroe theory? No, what is that one? You the, the girl, what about her? So there's a theory about Marilyn Monroe being yeah. assassinated by the Kennedy. No way. You never heard about this? No. So this was huge back in the day. This was huge. Yeah. So Marilyn Monroe, right? She was she was almost famous for having an affair yeah. with John F. Kennedy. Yeah, that was the whole thing. She was known about that, right? Yeah. Now, what happened was, allegedly, mm -hmm. it wasn't just John F. Kennedy, but also her brother. Okay. Now, uh, Marilyn Monroe didn't necessarily fall in love with John F. Kennedy, but really fell in love with her brother his brother no, and and listen know. listen so pretty much what happened was she fell so in love with him and he and she was trying to convince him to leave his family and leave his wife yeah. so they can be together but he wouldn't do that right now one time this is like a famous famous video too and a famous song uh -huh. you might recognize it where she sang Happy birthday, Mr. President. What? That, no. Remember that? Remember that song? Yeah. So that was like a huge performance. And apparently that was her trying to leak the information that they had affairs, that she was doing things with the Kennedys, right? What the fuck? Now, theory goes. So as we know, mm. Marilyn Monroe, she died of a drug overdose. That's what it said as is. Okay. Right? Yeah. And she died from taking sleeping pills and specifically the drug and a chemical compound that's in her system was from the sleeping pills. Yeah, yeah. The first detective on the scene to investigate Marilyn Monroe's body yeah. said there's foul play and some, it was likely that somebody injected her with this compound, this chemical compound, mm. the same chemical that's in the sleeping pills. Oh. So it wasn't her. Now, they didn't find any trace of a pill bottle, water for her to take the pills down, anything like that, right? Now, this is where it gets crazy. Yeah. So, her caretaker, her house taker, uh -huh. she 
fled the country the same night. Oh nah. That she fled the country the same night Marilyn Monroe died. Oh nah. So they they were about to take her too. No, no, no. So the theory goes yeah. that the Kennedys planned the assassination of Marilyn Monroe and bribed her caretaker, the one person that's super close to her, what? to kill her in her sleep. Oh, it by was injecting the, her. It was the caretaker? Yeah. What? Yeah, and, that's and crazy. check this out. So um apparently she found her body. This is what she told the police. Yeah. I think her name was Eunice. Mm -hmm. She told the police that she found the body at 12, 12 a.m., right? Yeah. But only called them later at 3 p.m. No. So a whole fucking 12 hours, like way, way longer, bro. Yeah. And the stories didn't match up. But she already fled the country, fam. She's already gone. <laughs> She's already gone. So JFK set this hit. That's what that's allegedly. Allegedly. That's what they're saying. But it makes sense. But yeah, it's not even. Yeah. But you know why? Yeah. Because they were so, I guess, infuriated with her because she wouldn't like leave them all and she was kind of disrupting their image. Because that was a whole that was a whole scandal. It was such a big scandal that we even talk about it today. But Marilyn Monroe, that's like the baddie of the 1900s, fam. You would want that. You would want her to like. You feel me? No, but they had families, fam. They had they had literal wives and families. <laughs> oh, and she was doing this. Yeah. Damn. And it was a it was a huge scandal. It was a huge scandal. I feel like back then it was way more like toxic than now. Then like that no, shit is I don't think fam, so. Shit, I don't that, think so. No, nah, because yo. You're not hearing about stories about a guy. Oh, I I got cheated on. Fuck, I'm I'm injecting you with this crazy. Okay, you I'm, know what? Because because it's to the president. That's what's crazy too. Yeah, exactly. JFK was a president. Exactly. Did you hear about the the JFK and and Abraham Lincoln conspiracy too? Oh, how they were uh, the Mandela effect. Oh no no. How no. They, they had similar deaths. Like, yeah. Exactly. We, I don't think we talked about that. I don't right? think we. Yeah. Go so, ahead. So JFK mm -hmm. and Abraham Lincoln have similar deaths, similar birth dates, perfect, and similar killers. Yeah, literally lined up the same. So I think um their names had like the same amount of letters, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Something like that, right? Uh -huh. Okay. So Abraham Lincoln was elected to Congress in 1846, okay. right? Now, John F Kennedy was elected in Congress in 1946. Uh, so similar dates, 46, right? Okay. Abraham Lincoln was elected president in 19 I mean in 1860. Now John F Kennedy was elected in 1960. Okay. So 60. Yeah. Very similar again, right? Uh, the names Lincoln and Kennedy contain seven letters. Both have seven letters in their last name. Uh, Both were particularly concerned with civil rights <laughs> and both wives lost their children while living in the White House. Mm -hmm. It gets more. Like, there's a lot more coincidences. Yeah. Both presidents were shot on a Friday. Yeah. Both were shot in the head. In a whip, a lie? No, 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 no. <laughs> so, so, but they were shot in the back of the head. In the back, yeah. Yeah. Um, Abraham Lincoln, he was sitting at a theater mm. in a booth, right? Yeah. And he was shot by John Wilkes Booth. But JFK, he was shot in the back of the head. Hold on, hold on. There's more. I'm, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> so both were assassinated by Southerners. Okay. So both were succeeded. Wait, what? Both were succeeded by who? I think both were succeeded by Southerners also. Like as in presidency. Oh, that's wild. That's weird. That's, that's weird. too much. Okay. So both successors. Oh, shit. So both successors, like the next presidents after them yeah. were named Johnson. The next of both of them. Both of them. So JFK's, neck, the president after JFK was Johnson. Yeah. And after Abraham Lincoln was Johnson also. That's fucked. Andrew Johnson succeeded Lincoln, born in, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, this is weird. Andrew Johnson, who succeeded Lincoln, was born in 1808. Uh -huh. Lyndon Johnson, who succeeded Kennedy, was born in 1908. <laughs> what the fuck? Some GG. Yo, yo, listen, listen. So John Wilkes Booth, right? John Wilkes Booth, the killer of, yeah. of Abraham Lincoln, was born 1839. Yeah. Lee Harvey Oswald was born 1939. <sighs> That's the killer of John F. Kennedy. <laughs> That's why are the why are the years like adding up like that? Yeah. That's some GG 30. Okay, listen. Man. So both assat both assassins were known by three letter by three names. Wait, wait, wait. John Wilkes Booth, Harvey Oswald. Wait, nah. Harvey so they all Oswald? had three names okay i don't know about that one yeah, yeah. so both names 
both names are comprised of 15 letters. Yo, this letter shit, man. <laughs> this letter shit. <laughs> so, Booth ran. Oh, this is crazy. Which one? So, after John Wilkes Booth assassinated Abraham Lincoln, he ran from the theater and was caught in a warehouse, right? Okay. Oswald, the killer of John F. Kennedy, he ran from a warehouse where he shot John F. Kennedy. Yeah. And he ran and he caught, he was caught in a theater. Oh, wow. So both of the killers. So no no no. So Booth ran from the theater mm. and got caught in a warehouse. Oswald ran from the warehouse and got caught in a theater. Holy shit. So both so Booth and Oswald were assassinated before their trials. That's wild. No, that's too much. It's too much. That's, that's too weird. Much. That's weird. Yeah. That's wow. a lot. And but it's it's like type of shit that doesn't even why would that stuff even connect? Yeah. No, that that goes back. It's like shit, are all the least related and have related not in the way of family tree. Also in the related of how they no, ask. but do you think it's yo? Do you think it's even just um? This sounds like some matrix shit. Yeah, to be honest. I know. The, you know, it's there's like <laughs> you know in the cloudy a chance of meatballs. Yeah. So in the in the one of the scenes, you know Mount Rushmore. Yeah. How's the four faces and it's Abraham Lincoln at the mm -hmm. end, right? They have this little like egg, Easter egg where uh, when the pies are coming down from the sky, yeah, they hit the first three in the face, mm -hmm. but. Abraham's statue doesn't get hit in the face front. He gets hit in the back. Oh, so if, if you notice that little detail, Cloudy is kind of a Cloudy a Chance of Meatballs kind of made fun of uh, Abraham how he didn't get smacked in the front of the face. He got shot in the back of the face. Because he got shot in the back of the head. Yeah. <laughs> Disney is fucked for that, which is crazy. Damn. I don't think it was Disney though. That was like yeah, Pixar or some Pixar, shit. Pixar, yeah. But still, that's weird, bro. <laughs> a, a lot of people are saying shout out to Gigi, but he said um, uh, Gavin and Carlos. How much, if you combine our letters, yeah. 11 letters, jumpers jump, 11 letters. Oh, Yo, we shot what that the? video, 11, 11. <laughs> <laughs> do, do. <laughs> Gigi's, GG33, GG, that's my first name. That's Carlos's um, uh, Number. numbers he always sees, GG33. That's weird, that's so weird, that's kind of weird. That's kind of, come on. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Okay, there's, 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 um, there's some theories some people from the Discord told me I want to talk about okay, it real quick. About it? Check this out. So there's the theory yeah. that Shawshank Redemption and Spider-Man take place in the same universe. How? Shawshank is my favorite movie. Shawshank, man. you remember that movie, yeah, right? I love that movie. So remember Andy, the guy that actually got to escape? Yeah. So, bro, this is crazy. What about so Andy, right? Mm -hmm. When he finally escaped prison in Shawshank, yeah. he planned to what? He wanted to reveal the secrets of the prison, how they were very unfair and there's like injustice happening, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, when he pretty much leaked out all that information, he went to a news article okay. and the name of the news company <laughs> was the Daily Bugle. The <laughs> Daily Bugle as in... Spider-Man, where Peter Parker oh, worked, right? Nah. Now, this is, where, this is where it connects. Yeah. So, obviously, this happened way before Spider-Man's age. Spider-Man wouldn't be even born yet. Yeah. The theory is, Andy in Shawshank Redemption is actually Ben Parker, a.k.a. Uncle Ben. What? How? Spider -Man, Spider-Man's uncle. How, though? Because it's the... So, remember, remember he escaped prison, right? Yeah. So, he would have to change his name okay so he changed his name so the theory goes he changed his name yeah. he moved to new york because that's kind of the area that was this that was shawshank was set in okay new york literally yeah, yeah. new york city moved to queens and took care of his his nephew peter parker oh. he's later born so andy from shawshank yeah. is actually uncle ben and spider-man no way and what's even crazy too mm -hmm. i think the um, this is a weird coincidence mm -hmm. but the cast of Spider-Man Homecoming, yeah. they actually went to go visit the Shawshank prison. What the fuck? Yeah, it was weird. I don't know why, but they went to go visit the Shawshank prison. Yeah, maybe it's like uh, the director really wanted them to know the backstory and how it's like, oh, maybe this is how... <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Ties. This is like a weird coincidence, yeah, yeah. but like, it was just like a fan theory. That's crazy. No, because there's also something like that in, um, you know, Monsters, Inc. and Incredibles. Yeah. How they're all kind of tied into the same universe. Mm -hmm. So I remember there's... A, so if you know, if you guys remember, there's a scene where uh, like a little monster was panicking and they said, oh, something around is flying with lasers, mm. with lasers in its eyes, yeah. right? Who has lasers in its eyes? In Incredibles, the baby was found oh, out. Oh, Jack-Jack. Jack-Jack yeah, yeah. was known to shoot lasers. So it's like, 
is Jack Jack the main villain in the monsters? But because they never really showed who the main villain flying over the town with lasers was. Mm. Was that Jack Jack? Because they said Boo, but Boo wasn't doing yeah. that stuff, right? Yeah, it wasn't. Because Boo doesn't have um lasers in his eyes. And they're talking about babies. Yeah. Maybe got they got the, the wrong baby. The wrong That's baby. That's the actual baby. Because Jack Jack can teleport. Yeah. He can teleport. So what if he like? Because when he teleports, what if he like goes into different like that on some Rick and Morty shit? Exactly. On some Rick and Morty shit. What if you went into like the monster universe and yeah. then the next universe and just for like a exactly. split second? Exactly. So maybe uh, other even the other movies like coming out. If you see lasers, it's actually Jack Jack because they're trying to play like a whole thing is like Jack Jack's the villain of everyone. Mm. You follow me? Yeah, it's like kind of like yeah, a, like a little, jumping, yeah, yeah, like a little taste of it. Yo, so uh, there's another theory I heard from the Discord. Who? Now, there was a subliminal message in SpongeBob. No way. Showing what the Krabby Patty formula is. What was it? Let me see. Check this out. Let me see, let me see. So do you remember that, that episode with SpongeBob and they're like Neanderthals, SpongeGar and Pat, oh, Pat Tar, yeah. remember that? Pat Tar, yeah. yeah. So pretty much uh -huh. there was subliminal messaging and showing what the true recipe is. Now it shows, here, yeah, I'm gonna show you the video. Yeah, let me see, let me see. But it shows SpongeBob and Patrick as Neanderthals, they're cooking food to eat, right? Okay. Check this out. Yeah, I remember that one. Remember this? Yeah. He said, don't eat the stick. Look, check this out. A crab walks by, right? Mr. Krabs type beat. Steps on it, pokes it with a stick. And he eats it, yeah. He I cooks this. it. Yeah. And he eats it. And what's the reaction? It's amazing. Okay. Right? So that's the first part. Yeah. Later in the later in the in the episode. Don't tell me that Patrick, Patrick goes. And looks for more crabs to eat, right? <laughs> and right after this scene, what does SpongeBob do? He draws a Krabby Patty no. in the sand and makes a burger. So it's still and then and Squidward's chewing. So it's what? subliminal messaging. Yo, the true Krabby Patty secret yeah. formula is crab meat. And as a lot of our conspiracies before, yeah, it say. concludes to crab that meat, just, fam. That just confirmed it. I just confirmed and you it. you know how uh, we said before that Mr. Krabs was the only one, mm -hmm. was the only crab remaining? Yeah. Why do you think that they were eating all those crabs? You so eating that's all the, the crabs, the exactly. One. Whoa. Yeah, and, and for a lot of you guys that don't know, literally the Krusty Krab yeah. is a crab trap. Huh? Yeah, the Krusty Krab, the building of the Krusty Krab is a oh, is I a is a crab that. trap. I didn't notice that. Yeah, so it's trapping crabs to eat. Oh, yeah. No, nah, okay, yeah, that's confirmed for right? sure. Right, it's confirmed. Yeah. It's confirmed. I <laughs> I have a Mandela effect. Speaking of SpongeBob, mm -hmm. that I want to see if you know too. So I don't know if you remember where there's a scene where he's singing "I'm a Goofy Goober." <laughs> yeah, yeah, has, yeah. He has the purple suit. He has the purple uh, guitar. With, yeah, like a V guitar. I remember that. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, he has a V guitar. Remember? Yeah, he does. He does. Doesn't. What does he have? Fam, the guitar is actually shaped as a peanut. No! Nah. MPC! Nah. It's time nah. in the comments. MPC! No, wait. I, I, but I'm, I know the original. It was a V guitar. No. So you remember a peanut then? No, it, fam. It's an actual peanut. It's so not you remember the peanut? I don't remember the peanut. I'm going to lie. <laughs> okay, there you go. What the fuck? No, you remember? No, I remember him wearing a wizard hat and yeah. a robe. And the robe. And he's strumming on the purple guitar. Yeah. Fam, it's actually a peanut that he's strumming on. His guitar is literally shaped as a Let peanut. me see. There's, There's no, no way. Yeah, yeah. There's no way. <laughs> Hold on. Look. Oh look. shit. Let me see. <laughs> yeah. It's purple, fam. I mean, no, it's, it's it's a peanut. Like, yo. But I don't remember that shit either. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah. I don't remember that at all. Exactly. But I do remember the fit. I remember the fit specifically. Yeah. V it would make sense as a V guitar because that's just in my head. That's what I, know, I see. I know. Because it's, like, it's rock, so that would make sense. Okay, I got another yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. You don't remember that one? So if you remember Tom Cruise mm -hmm. in Risky Business, mm -hmm. you know, know about this one? Oh, Where wait, I think I heard. Oh, you heard about this yeah, one? Yeah, Where he's dancing in um, a white tank and a white shirt, yeah. and he has the glasses on, no pants, mm -hmm. right? He's actually has uh, no glasses on. He's not wearing the white tank. He's wearing a big polo long sleeve with yeah. no pants. That's the whole thing. Wait, doesn't he have like a... He has glass and he slides in. He doesn't. That's the whole thing. He doesn't have glasses on. Let me see. Let me see. Boop. No glasses on. Because I heard about it, but I never seen it. Let me yeah. see. Look where he slides in. Because a lot of people copied this. V 
<laughs> no glasses. Yeah, bro. Because a, a lot of people remember the glasses. Like yeah. he had glasses on. He slides in. Like yeah, because everyone, everyone that does the trend has glasses on. Yeah, but you know what? I think this is my theory on it. Okay. They're they're um mistaking it for Ferris Bueller because Ferris Bueller always has the, the glasses, yeah. and it was kind of like a similar movie. Mm -hmm. That's like the Britney Spears one where she had the the microphone, but yeah. a, a lot of people uh, replicated it and she didn't. Mm -hmm. You know that makes sense because Ferris Bueller is very similar to that vibe because yeah. he was like the only one home. I know. Yeah. I think Ferris Bueller is my favorite movie of all time. What do you think your favorite movie is? Favorite movie? I say all the time, bro. Karate Kid, bro. Karate Kid is your favorite movie? Yes, bro. I was, why are you still scared? I just, I just Oh, and the Jaden Smith scared. one, too. I just don't want to be scared. <laughs> fam, I watch that shit every single time, fam. Yeah? Every single time, I need motivation. So, shout out to our sponsor, Dr. Squatch. So, Dr. Squatch is the perfect option for those difficult to shop for and those who are hard to nail down gift ideas for. They've got a variety of scents across all of their product categories, so there's something for everyone. So, give someone the gift of upgraded self-care, since health is wealth, and rather than giving another pair of socks or underwear, give someone a gift that they'll actually want to use that will be a sensory experience opening up during the holidays. So Dr. Squatch is the best for many reasons. They are changing personal care with high performance natural products that smell amazing and will have you feeling and looking your best. So Dr. Squatch's products are made using only the finest ingredients mother nature has to offer. They're transparent about their ingredients and their production. In fact, all their products are at least 98% natural in origin. So me personally, that gives me confidence in my hygiene routine since I know that I'm not putting harsh chemicals or harmful ingredients in my hair. And I've been feeling the difference in how my skin feels and how my hair feels feels just because I know that they all use natural products. So Dr. Squatch also has a full lineup of natural products for your entire routine, soaps, hair care, deodorant, and more, all in fresh scents inspired by nature. So new customers will receive 25% off orders over $40 or more. And this is the most lucrative discount that you guys can take advantage of all year and available only for the jumpers this holiday season. So go to drsquatch.com and use our code DSQJumpers25 for 25% off on orders $40 or more. So shout out to our sponsor, NetSuite. 2000, 2008, 2022. When it comes to the economy, those are some scary years. Dot com crash, housing crash, and the roller coaster we're going through right now. One thing is certain it's a dangerous time to not know your numbers. But over 31,000 businesses have confidence and clarity they need because they rely on NetSuite by Oracle, the number one cloud financial system. So I run a business myself and it can get really confusing when it comes to budgeting, trends, growth, when it comes to my business. But NetSuite gives me full visibility and control of my own financials and has definitely helped give me a better structure when it comes to running my business and all the positive changes that come with it. So NetSuite can give you visibility and control of your, your financials, inventory, HR, planning, and budgeting so you guys can manage risk, get reliable forecasts, and improve margins. Everything you need in one place. So how do you prepare for uncertain times? The answer is NetSuite. NetSuite helps you identify rising costs, automate your business processes, and easily see where to save money. And that's why 93% of customers say that they've improved their visibility and control when they upgraded to NetSuite. So what are you guys waiting for? So right now, NetSuite is offering a one-of-a-kind financial program. Head to netsuite.com slash jumpers, J-U-M-P-E-R-S right now. So that's netsuite.com slash jumpers. Oh, I, I didn't talk about the menu yet. Menu? Of what? Oh, <laughs> shit. I didn't Is talk it? about the menu yet? Okay, okay. I literally just watched this movie like a couple days ago. Yeah. Damn. There's this movie that just came out. It's called The Menu. Okay. Bro, so this shit made you think, right? Mm -hmm. How far can you take art to where it's to a level that's like really fucked up? Because look, a lot of people, we can excuse weird things because it's art. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, in this movie, this chef, he's like one of the most decorated chefs in the world. Now, people literally take a boat Mm -hmm. to go to his private island yeah. and then they eat with him and he cooks for them, right? Okay. Now, little did they know that they weren't going to come back this time. What? So what happened was this chef, he was so sick and tired of serving people and he felt almost like his art was a waste. He even said in the movie yeah. that imagine your passion, your art is to make food which will turn to shit in your stomach. <laughs> yeah, so he was sick and tired of like cooking food for all these rich people. Yeah. Now he planned that the next time he has all, a big group of people come over to eat with him, uh -huh. he would kill them. <laughs> and how he would do it is 
this is the crazy Poison thing. Poison food? No. Oh, shit. So it was almost like a game. It was like a whole course meal. Mm. I think a few courses, bro. Like five courses, some shit like that. And every single course had a meaning, a, a double entendre, a yeah. theory about it. Uh-huh. So one of them was when I was a kid, my dad, st- I had to stab my dad in the leg because he was beating my mom. <laughs> And I stabbed him with scissors. And he, what did he serve them? Scissors he with ser- like a chicken he, leg? He served them a chicken leg <laughs> with, a, with a piece of scissors inside of it. Each oh, of them. Nah. Yeah. Oh, no. Nah. So That's crazy unreal. shit like that. Yeah. yeah. But the the common theme was it was all for quote unquote art. Yeah. So people didn't question. People didn't question it. Yeah. At first. People didn't question it at first. Okay. But as the night went on, they weren't allowed to leave. They tried fighting back and the guy lost his finger. I don't want to spoil the whole movie, yeah, but, but spoiler, get, spoiler alert. I, I get that though. Like you would obviously want to question, but as soon as people start, oh, then yeah. yeah. Okay, I don't want to spoil it. Never mind. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, it was a sick movie though. It's a sick yeah. movie because there's a there's a lot of different like um theories and a lot of different like origins, and it makes you think like this is the type of stuff to make somebody insane. Yeah. And imagine you being an artist, yeah, and your art starts being disgraced and nobody cares about it and these rich people that he serves to they treat him just like a regular he he was especially pissed off at a food critic that was there sitting and you can imagine your whole life is to perform well and please a critic Mm -hmm. and the moment the critic says oh this food sucks just one word and your whole career is to the toilet but i feel like that's where it gets like um confusing though because it's like as an artist Mm -hmm. you should be prepared to handle criticism criticism all your life Mm -hmm. not just like one maybe that dish didn't work obviously shit back to the drawing board yeah that doesn't mean you go out your emotion and now you're you're creating dishes like like these gross dishes yeah. like gruesome mm-hmm. concepts like that 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 that's how you know you're just psycho in the head yeah he and was you, he was psycho no yeah, exactly. no lie this guy was fucking psycho yeah, to be in the fucking artist business family or just any artist in general you have to have thick ass skin mm-hmm. you feel me but at the same time i do sympathize with it because think about it for food especially because yeah. I'm, I'm not in even in the industry but yeah. imagine that's kind of like the one tell <laughs> no nah, you can't say that no nah, nah, you can't say that because i remember this is the funniest thing calls ever what said, fam. we we got invited to like one of those um dinners those four course meals, yeah yeah and the first appetizer was put on her plate the first thing that comes out of carlos mouth yo fam this looks like ratatouille <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so it, it looks like ratatouille so, though. So you know that, that shit that looked that like first ratatouille. Scene where it was a bunch of vegetables like wrapped up, and it's just like this small ass, like, yeah, 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 high class uh, appetizer. So we it came in. It was a bunch of salmon with this uh, with those uh, those exact same vegetables. Yeah, yeah, it was. Carlos, I, it's a silence, and he looks at me and Josh. Yo, fam, th- why they serve us ratatouille? <laughs> So you can't say that because no, I, I'm critic. saying I sympathize with the idea of <laughs> <laughs> no, like like people judging, people judging, and then like criticizing, blah blah. Yeah. blah. But no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm saying I'm saying because as a food critic, yeah, their their careers based off of that shit. <laughs> it wasn't just you; it was all of us. It was Josh too. Like that's different though. That's yeah. different. I'm not a food critic. No, this is the craziest thing that Josh ever said. He took a bite of the pizza. He spit that shit out. He's like, "Yo, why the the crust tastes better than the outside?" <laughs> that's, that's a crazy a, take. That's that's that was one of the craziest thing I ever heard, fam. Yo. <gasps> I don't yeah. think you can go wrong with pizza, though. How, how is it that bad, man? <laughs> and it was crazy because we're so real. You know, the influencers trying to trying to make these videos for TikTok. Yeah. Obviously, they're not going to be real and say, this is shit, fam. So I remember going on to scrolling. I remember seeing a person that I went with. And, and the whole time, she's like, oh, it was actually pretty good. It was actually pretty good. But she kept using the thing pretty good like it wasn't actually like good oh yeah okay see right now if yeah. somebody says it's pretty, pretty good <laughs> it's trash it's trash <laughs> you're just sugar you're just sugar-coated. there's no way because you would just say yo that's good you wouldn't yeah. say that's pretty good facts <laughs> i don't think there's any time i said pretty something yeah and it meant the truth yeah. if i'm adding pretty in front of it yo it's probably sugar trash yeah. bro. i'm like the king of sugar coat i always say ah it was pretty good yeah if i don't want to hurt someone's feelings you're pretty strong <laughs> <laughs> in that tone you know what tone is actually so crazy tone is everything yeah because it's like mm-hmm. yo pretty strong what the fuck yo tone tone is everything because you can just make i can make any single word sound, sound exciting like or yeah. sound boring as hell man like imagine those mon- monochrome teachers sam like you can't 
uh, entertain a class because you just that's your regular voice. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. I think if I think the best teachers that I ever learned from, they just have almost like a cadence to their voice where it's yeah. very uh, it's almost hypnotizing. Yeah. Well, it make it makes you want to keep listening. I know, right? Yeah. But not everybody has that, bro. I know. You think you think um, uh, dealers they're told uh, you know, at those casino tables, you know. They get paid more if they hype up the crowd and oh and then oh yeah 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 for sure you feel me yeah I heard I heard this is crazy but Mm -hmm. apparently okay this is this obviously facts yeah yeah but they did a study with breast size to tip okay and literally the larger a waitress's breasts are the more of a tip they get Mm. which is crazy because they know that sex sells and look at the restaurant Hooters it that's all what it is. That is true. Right? Mm-hmm. Yo, do you think... Damn, bro. Do you think every single thing is already taken advantage of or there's still ways to finesse us even more? Finesse us even more? What do you mean they, by that? Look, look, look. Okay, look around the room. And everybody listening right now, look around your room. Yeah. You can probably point at something that was designed specifically to make you keep buying their products or to make them keep getting more money. Oh, yeah, for sure. Look, iPhone right in front of me, <laughs> yeah. right? The, eventually the battery's gonna get shit and I have to buy a new phone. Mm. Eventually there's gonna be new iPhones that have better features, blah, 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 and I'll have to buy a new one. Yeah. Camera, same thing. Now, look, look at everything in the room. Yeah. For example, camera, same thing. Quality will change. Fast. I have to buy a new camera. Mm-hmm. This happens, blah, 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 I have to buy a new camera. Um, bro, every single thing created, I feel like there's a little bit of a buffer yeah, where yeah. they say, I'm gonna leave it a little bit shittier because I can sell a better one later. Yeah. Or if you're like COD, because I knew the, the new Warzone or uh, the new MW2 just came out. Yeah. And what did they do? So they made sure everyone buys that one. Warzone is the second biggest game to Modern Warfare 2. They shut down every Warzone server. Oh, they shut it down. Bro, you have to be so obvious to do that. So now every Warzone player is going to play Modern Warfare 2. Yeah. And they oh. might, if this is a smart move, they might just do that for first uh, week sales. Mm-hmm. But if they're smart, they just open that shit back up the a month later. Yeah, that's true too. Yeah. Yo, because that's like a whole monopoly on the yeah. thing, fam. Yeah. And isn't it crazy? There's only Xbox and PS5. Why oh, is there two no top other competitors and, yeah. P- and PC too? I know. Why isn't there? <laughs> Wait, why isn't there more? Yeah, that's a good question. Because if if we're so creative and we have this technology, why would there not be another one? Yo, wait, wait, wait. Pause. Why is there not another game console? Yeah, I don't know. Like nobody ever tried. <laughs> that's, what, fam, that's yo. What, what the <laughs> fuck? Listen, listen. Has no one ever tried to make another game console? No, man. I don't think so. Like, they had Sega Genesis and stuff back in the day, but that was when every single company was trying, like, Atari. Yeah, yeah. But nowadays, I'm saying, like, now, <laughs> how is there not another game console? I'm telling you. If you're watching That's and, you, weird. and you do coding and shit like that, yo, make that shit, man. That's weird. <laughs> Theory, Xbox, yeah. and, and, and PlayStation, mm-hmm. they're the same company. Behind closed doors. And they just made that rivalry to, to boost both of them up? Yeah. Did you know a lot of car companies are under the same brand too? Yeah, yeah. And what's crazy too? Fam, I didn't know this. Mm-hmm. You know at Pacific Mall in in uh in Markham? Yeah. What about it? All, almost all of those... uh Are ran by one person? The, the case shops, the cell phone case shops, they're all ran by the same person. No way. Yeah. So you think you're getting a better deal, but nah, it's the same yeah, thing. It's the same thing. So they have a they have a monopoly on the whole mall. Not even no, not Pacific Mall. Yeah. Listen, listen. <laughs> That's wild. Now, I, I even I did a little bit more research too. Yeah. I'm like, okay, there's gotta be if this is happening in one place, hundred mm. percent is happening in other places. Yeah. Did you know in, in Pickering Town Center, the the hair salon? Yeah. There's like three or four of them, right? They're all ran by the same person. Oh, They're different God. brands, different names, but the owner is just one owner. Mm, nah. It's crazy. See, I'm telling you, they, they can control shit. There's a thing that, you know, um, acupuncture? Yeah. They're saying that acupuncture can cure certain diseases mm-hmm. and certain, um, like, because uh, obviously you see those um videos on, uh, on YouTube where as soon as the session is done, mm-hmm. you're cured of any, like, ligament like thing. Toxins and shit, toxins right? Shit, yeah. But they're, they don't want people to find that out because big pharma companies who are pull, putting all these uh, drugs to sell you, mm. oh, this will fix this, this will fix this. They're going to run out of business. They're going to run out of business. Yeah. Which makes so much sense because it's like everything is run under one umbrella, but we just really, the, the regular consumer does not know that. 
I'm gonna blow your mind right now. Ready? Yeah. What would happen if we're all healthy? Uh, then we don't spend money on healthcare. Yeah. But what if like, let's say, let's say there were stuff set in place for us to like be healthy initiatives, yeah. um, certain things that we can learn education that kills fast foods that kills. Yeah. Everything. To stop us from dying and yeah. getting diseases yeah. and makes us healthy. All have a healthy lifestyle. Mm. How, like if you were, if you were the business that was running out of thing, how would you stop that? How do I stop people being healthy? Yeah. Mm. And we're gonna leave it at that. That's crazy. I don't. I don't want to talk anymore about that one. Yeah. Think about that. Exactly. I know exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. That's fucked. That's. We fuck. can't even say that. We can't even yeah. say that. That's crazy. Yeah, that's fucked. It's like you teleported the idea. Yeah. To my that was fucked. That's crazy. That's fuck, fuck. I would just make everyone eat candy. That's what. That's. Yeah. Make yeah. everybody eat yeah. candy. Exactly. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> We're out to something. You know. You know what's something too. Yeah. I had. I had this thought in the shower. Mm -hmm. What? Why do we just dismiss dreams as just dream? Mm. Because I feel like it's like. It's our unconscious, so it's like that's not true. I know, I know. It, like that's what we say. Like it's not yeah. true. Like who cares about dreams? Mm -hmm. But from the very start, like everybody, you've been told, "Yo, you're it's just a dream. Just a, you're just a dream. Don't yeah, worry about. That, it. Don't worry about. It's just a dream." But how come in some cultures, especially the early ones, uh -huh. that's their their whole spirituality is they learn messages through dreams. Through dreams, no, but it makes sense because dreams predict shit, bro. Yeah, and a lot of the time, theory right now. Yeah. A dream is able to tell us exactly what we're dealing with, problems we're facing, how we feel about it subconsciously, yeah. but we just don't pay attention because we pass it off as, honey, it's just a dream. It's yeah. just a dream. Don't worry about it. It's just a dream. I know. And there's lots of, we, we talked about lots of theories. If you see like uh, you on the freeway yeah. uh, driving super fast, that means you're living life way too fast. You have to slow it down. Like, mm -hmm. bro, that shit doesn't happen how do, how does a dream relate? How does that? Yeah. How, how does that message yeah, how, control my subconscious? Yeah. Like how does it even transport? It's weird, to that? right? Yeah. So so I had a dream recently oh, of fuck. me in this um it was a building uh -huh. and a bunch of fast elevators. So I was getting in the elevator and I had to go to a certain floor and it would take me like I was trying to get to floor like uh forty yeah. but it would take me to like floor eighty uh -huh. like it would take me super fast I I hop in I can't control it going boom right oh, yeah. so I googled it. And I looked at all of the meanings of what elevator dreams could be. Okay. It's crazy. So they say if you have a dream about going in the elevator, specifically going up yeah. floors, it means reaching new heights and successes in your life. Hey. And and so me passing a certain floor I, I wanted to get at mm -hmm. and going to a next one I couldn't control yeah. is me being able to achieve higher things that I, I didn't even know I could control or I oh, couldn't even achieve. Fuck. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. You know what? Is that, think, that's also conscious, yeah, right? Yeah, that makes sense because it's, you know how it's like, sometimes uh, we talk about manifestation, how you can put things in your dream, how you, you literally go with an intention to dream mm -hmm. about it. And you dream like, about it. Exactly. So it's like, uh, probably like if you interview the most creative people, the most rich people, they're probably big daydreamers. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Because I daydream bare. Like, mm -hmm. like I just, like most of my day is daydreaming about s scenarios in the future. Yeah. Yeah. And bro, I think, why is there not studies and why is there not more, I guess, why is there no content on on dreams to begin with but uh, yeah because they don't want us to know about that fam because 100 percent, we've all had reoccurring dreams and some of us even had dreams of similar landscapes and dreams dreamscapes that's yeah. what they call it yeah so i don't know if you had a dream like this okay but a lot of people on reddit have a similar dream that i had mm -hmm. where it's it's pretty much this it's like a pool room yeah and everywhere you walk all the hallways it's almost as if it's a pool. It's like water, super low, tiles everywhere. Yeah. You're just walking through like different, that's different a, that's pools, like the different hot tubs. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like back rooms, right? Yeah. Now what's weird, if we all have like a reoccurring dream, mm -hmm. how would we have that? And is there any significance to us being there? I don't know. Yo, you, right? know, you know how they're um, mapping out the DMT shit? Yeah. They should just map out our dream. Map out the yeah. dream world, right? But that, that but takes a knows? lot of people. That takes a lot of people. But there's a website that, that proves to me that all these other people, mm -hmm. like a lot of people in the world, like how pigeons are, are fucking bots. Yeah. Are, people are actually bots too. Because there's, there's some, there was a video, he's like, who said, do you see this person in your dreams? And it's a, it's a picture of a girl, right? Mm -hmm. And then 
uh, I, I recognize or recognize a bunch of people on that website Word. That, that were people. But the whole website is uh, AI generated people who mix and match their face. And oh, it's called shit. and it's called www.idonotexist.com. So all these people that you guys see in your dreams, you guys can go on the website. If you see them, they're not actually real. They don't exist. It's like an AI generated. Yeah, it's AI generated just Damn. mad. But it's crazy because they're so realistic. They, they, they seem familiar. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, that's crazy. We can manifest people into our life too. Shit. Yeah. Yo, you know what's weird? I, I don't know if this is... Yeah. I don't know how to say it, but like there's certain people that they look so similar to each other. Not necessarily like they're... I don't know how to explain it, bro. Oh, yo, are, are twins? Yo, are twins glitches in the Matrix? Twins? Yeah, so if say you had a twin sister, was that a glitch in the Matrix? Because God said that there, everyone is supposed to be different. A twin looks exactly the same. Is that a glitch in the Matrix? It might be. <laughs> it might be. Nah, but yo. Right? Because th there should only be one of everyone. Yo, you're just going to make all the twins upset right now, <laughs> man. <laughs> ah, you're a glitch. <laughs> no, but what about like quadruplets and like... Oh, that's a big Trip glitch. And stuff. <laughs> that's a big glitch. Like they had, they had to patch that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> they have to patch that. No, but there's still twins being born. Yeah, that's true. Quadruplets is crazy. A glitch in the matrix is twins. That's kind of long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I'm pretty sure. Okay, look, look, look. Are dog babies usually twins? Dog babies? No, they're they're Think super about it. Different. No, hold on. Think about it. Who, dog babies? Dogs. They See, the dogs look all the same, fam. So you're, so you're saying that animals are glitches. It makes sense. Pigeons. How, how much do you think those are uh, real pigeons? No, look, look, look. If a, if a dog gives birth right now, right? Yeah, they would look the same. They look the same. Bro, like it, all of them look the same. Yes or no? Yeah, but they would grow up to be like different sizes and shit. But like, I don't know. <laughs> Come on. Different sizes? Like they look the same, low key? Yeah, they would look the same, but they would grow up to be different. So are something. all dog babies, are all puppies twins <laughs> or triplets or whatever? I guess some of them have like different patches too, though. But I'm talking about the ones that. Yeah, those ones were. were would you crazy. consider them twins and triplets and, and quadruplets? Uh, fuck, I don't even know. Because if they have the same, the same like color, color, yeah, the same like face, the same tail, then yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Our puppies, our puppies like quadruplets and shit. Probably you can say that for every animal. Then. Oh yeah, you could. Can, I guess call, you could. Yeah. All, bunnies all are, are all bunnies. Fucking yeah, all the same, fam. How do you think buddies like tell Yo, them? you know what? Bunnies look the same. Like, yeah. How, yeah, how, how would you know? I don't even know. Like, put yourself in a bunny's shoes. Like, if, imagine you're walking around. How would you know that's your dad? Plot twist? Yo, yeah. the simulation knows that bunnies, squirrels, raccoons, that they're, they're all, like, not important. Yeah. So they make them all look the same. There's not too much of a difference with them. Or... or that's kind of crazy. That's crazy. Or it's giving us, like, um how... Oh, fuck, it's like a double entendre. You know how bunnies look at us like, like different people? Yeah. Maybe like we are all born the same, but we look different. Like to uh, only in our perspective. But maybe bunnies in their world, they, they know the difference. You know, that bunny has fucking, oh. you feel me? Like that bunny has curly hair, but we can't see that shit because it's only in their eyes. Yo, maybe. Yeah. That, that, that could be true too. But like we're literally all like the same. No, I don't think that's true because if there's giants... Like I'm gonna know the giants. No, giants are not real. No, I'm saying if, if there's like right now, if yeah. if Titans were thing, okay. right? And then Titans walking around, I would be able to see like, oh, that Titan <laughs> looks different from that Titan. That Titan looks different from that Titan. I guess, but yeah. bunnies all look the same, fam. Yeah, that's bunnies, true. bunnies look. Look, okay, flies. Wait, wait, you're not gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> look, the the simulation knows that flies are so unimportant that they make all the flies look the same. I'm like, why'd they make flies so like annoying though? Like that's just why why would they put even put flies on the universe? Like there's no how does that even fit into their agenda? I actually don't know. Yeah. I guess hmm. I maybe to keep us away from bad stuff. Like what? if something it's if something's like not good, keep the the flies are there. We don't want to stay around oh, it. Yeah, okay. I feel that like it was like rotten flies are gonna yeah, go on. Let, let me not diss flies because everyone has a purpose in this. Yeah, world you never know. Like, yeah. like dissing flies, bro. They can hear yeah. you. Yeah, I lie. What if what if flies can actually hear us and then like we just <laughs> don't know that? We can't prove that. We can't prove that they can't understand English. Yeah, that's true. But, yo, isn't that so true? We can't prove that they don't understand English. I don't know about that one. Cause, cause if you think about it, dogs can understand English. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure squirrels can understand English. Birds do 100. percent Yeah, cause remember when I said when uh, a dog can understand different languages. Yeah. So it's like if we had a fly in a box and every day we would just tell speak Spanish speak to it. Yeah, it probably understands <laughs> Spanish, right? If it's like yo, see, and then it would like fly up. <laughs>
Yo, that's weird. Yo, wait, did someone run that test? Or if there's already a test, let us know. Or, or plot twist, yeah. they've already taken advantage of bugs, bro. They already trained bugs, fam. We just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, Loki, the fly in your room is probably a, a spy <laughs> on some Alexa shit. Oh, so what? instead of having Alexa in your room, hearing all your shit you're talking mm. about, you just put a fly in there, bro. Stop. stop. Microchips are getting small. Did you know there's microchips that are the size of a grain of salt? That's crazy. That. Right now? Yeah, right now. They already made it. That, they made it in like 2008. Fuck. Microchips the size of a, a salt grain. See, now what if they start putting that shit in rice? And then now- We eat a lot of, we rice. Eat a lot of we rice. We eat a lot of rice. All the Filipinos are going to be controlled, fam. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> like that's their next thing. Like they Yo, just put it in rice If you bags. control Filipinos though, because <laughs> Filip- No, listen, listen. Because Filipinos, I feel like we're everywhere. Yeah, we're-, we're we are everywhere still. Yo. Don't say that. The knock on what the fuck? I don't want to be controlled. No, like, like I, I'm just saying, like, if you can control, you can control Filipinos, fam. You control the hospital. <laughs> that's, that's, that's stereotyping, though. That's, that's so true, that's, though. That's, that's, that's so true, fam. This guy said, you control the hospital. <laughs> no. Nah. only that? Deadass. Yeah, I know. You control, uh, what else? Dog, you control. You can you can literally control Scarborough. Stop, stop. Okay, now now we're like, just getting serious. I think that's where we ended off, man. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but look, look, look. Yeah. I feel like Filipinos too. Yeah. If if we control Filipinos because we're so prideful, mm. yeah, it's just gonna be everywhere still. Yeah, I know. We are super prideful. <laughs> I mean, that just flew over my head. I can't believe you said that. We what? control the hospitals <laughs> you didn't get it no i did i did that's why it just it just finally sat oh, down okay yeah. okay fuck i forgot what i was gonna say this guy, this oh guy, this is what i was gonna say what? why why isn't there an, i feel like i feel like once a once a, a rapper okay yeah lil tecca okay. right remember how lil tecca exploded into fame you know how he did yeah how he, oh, he, oh, he by was, dissing um toronto by dissing toronto right and then and then um he made all the Torontonians end up knowing who he is, or at least the people that are on those social media sites. And then we kind of gave him his first million listeners, blah, facts, blah, facts. Now, what if there's a rapper or there's like a celebrity influencer, or whatever, mm -hmm. that specifically targets niches of populations? Oh, right. Think about it. Think about it. Yeah. And then doing the same thing that they all know about them just because they're so, because I feel like Torontonians are pretty prideful of them. Mm -hmm, for sure. They're, they're really like, um, we we really hold on to our culture. Mm -hmm. Now, if you do that to another niche of people, yeah, you think it would have nah, the same effect? Fuck, it could. Nah, people are gonna get the wrong idea because then they're gonna just literally just do the tech away. They're gonna the they're gonna away, insult. Right? Oh, we're in here. We're way better than you. Uh yeah, because that that I swear that goes on every day. It's like oh, a person from Chicago going to diss a person from New York. Mm. Then that that's where beef comes. You know. But yeah, it, maybe it, yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. It usually it usually happens within the city. But when that makes sense though, what, what, if you diss another like thing, across the world, yeah, right? Then you get more popular. That makes sense though. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. But what would be the best niche of people to to oh, to, to yeah. piss off China? I don't want to smoke with China, fam. No, no, I'm saying in in a in a scenario. Oh, like in a scenario, asking, in a scenario. Okay, 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 okay. What? I'm just gonna say fuck China. Like what the fuck? <laughs> no, <laughs> like if a rapper, if a rapper to uh, torments like China, oh my goodness, you know how prideful they are there, and they have everyone. Oh, like, there's a lot of people. Stick, they stick. John Cena. John Cena speaks oh, uh, Cantonese. Yo, you know what I've I've been seeing all this <laughs> how John Cena single handedly changed the pronunciation of ice cream in China. Really? So he's like he's like he's like saying all these Chinese words, he's like Bing chilling. So so <laughs> so binge so everyone's saying bing chilling yeah. as as ice cream, mm -hmm. right? And uh the Chinese people are going on the TikTok, it's like it's pronounced bin. Wait, how did he say? It? Like they forgot the the pronunciation. John Cena has gone so so famous. Like, yeah, 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 because it's everywhere. Yeah, it's been, Yo. So, so everyone's saying "been chilling." <laughs> Wait, he made a Mandela effect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy made a real life Mandela effect. Yo, no that is crazy. <laughs> and then they forgot how to say it. Because like, I think it's called, uh, pronounced "been jilling." Oh, but, but John Cena says "been chilling." <laughs> But it's so it's so like recognizable so and it processes in your yeah, brain, yeah. right? Like that guy Lily like st got stuck. He's like, "Fuck, how do I say it?" Again? Yeah, <laughs> yo, I'm telling you. Once the who knows who yeah. knows they, if they already did it, mm -hmm. but once people start taking advantage of like optical illusion and and like brain games and brain things that puzzle our, our head, yeah. it's raps, fam. Oh, yeah, Knock on wood. But 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 
I remember walking through um when we were at when we at the Toronto Christmas market, I know we saw that sign that said Sniffany and Co. In yeah. my brain, in my brain it said Tiffany and Co. Wait, just because I'm so it's it's not Tiffany and Co. It, it was Sniffany. It was like a pet store. What? But when you when we walked by it in my head, it processed as Tiffany because it looked so familiar and it like played with my brain. I've never heard of Sniffany. Fam. No, 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 no. It is Tiffany, oh, but it's Tiffany. but the the sign we passed by, I even it's pointed it out. Yeah, yeah but we thought it was Tiffany. Remember? What? That's yeah. Wild. So I'm telling you, if they start playing with their yeah, unless they already have. Yeah, hundred percent. But you know, I I knew it was bad when they when I seen the picture of all you guys and there was a Dior d randomly on the Christmas tree. That's oh how, yeah. Why why is there Dior logo, uh, on a Christmas tree? Mm -hmm. Like why why is that? Why is there advertising on luxury? Because they're smart, bro. Because yeah. they're smart. Everyone's fam. gonna be there. Yeah. Yeah, everybody's sense. gonna be there. You put Dior uh, like if you put if you put any like high fashion. Yeah symbol there people are gonna flock and like whoa interesting and then now they're gonna remember that christmas yeah. with dior because okay for the people that don't know toronto christmas market uh -huh. this year was sponsored by dior or oh, even okay, okay. organized by dior that's a great move that's yeah. a great move because everything's dior, dior yeah and we were walking around and they're giving out like samples of dior sauvage and shit <laughs> oh my goodness. but it's crazy because something like that gets you talking to yeah. like damn they really for took sure. over this spot for sure because once you once you uh put that perfume on you, what does that remind you of? The good times that yeah, you had at Christmas market. Yeah. Now that's engraved in your brain. Exactly. And then you put that that perfume on or that cologne on, you walk around like, oh, you smell good. What is that? Christmas. Oh, I got it at, Christmas. oh, what is it? Dior. Yeah, I got it at the Christmas market. Blah, blah, blah. They go there. Boom. Let me get some too. And then this, this just keeps going. It spreads like a virus. Feel me? See, Christmas time coming, man. Uh, the red heart do not go under that shit. Remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want to be Yo, I life. still to this day, fam, I still to this day believe in that theory. The red heart at the Toronto Christmas Mar at the Toronto Christmas market. Yeah. If you guys take a picture there and you post a pic on your Instagram, yes. you're locking yourself in to a relationship the rest of your life. Yeah, it's too it's young, a soul bond. Too <laughs> it's literally a soul bond. It's witchcraft. Like y'all, y'all will be stuck together forever. <laughs> I don't believe in numerology, I do it astrology, but I believe in that. You believe red in heart. that red heart at the Toronto Christmas market. Trust me, that might be the only thing that's that's yes, real. Sir. Facts. But if you really love the shorty taker, then take a picture. You feel me? Yeah. All right. Uh thank you everyone for watching this episode of Jumper Jump Podcast. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Make sure to download our episodes on Spotify, Apple, all those streaming services. And yeah, if you guys want to listen to our audio versions, literally go check us out on Spotify. Play us out if you want to go work. If you want to go work out, right. you can listen to us on your headphones anywhere you want, bro. Right. And yeah, jump or jump out. Deuces.